This is Fox 43 Morning News. We're just days away from Thanksgiving, and it's time to start preparing for the big meal. Fox 43's Melanie Gardner picking up some culinary tips from the pros this morning. She joins us live from Harrisburg. You have the apron on. You look like you're ready to start cooking, Melanie. I am. I'm all ready to go. The big day is just about to be here. I've got to tell you, I have... I know it's shocking. I've never cooked one of these things in my life. So, Chef King, we're going straight to Chef King. Tell us a little bit about what we're doing here. Okay, um, this is the star of the show here. Uh, it's a 19-pound uh, turkey, domestic turkey. Um, they come fresh and they come frozen. Um, this is a frozen variety. Um, I'd like to talk a little bit uh, about some safety things. Uh, one is thawing the turkey. You want to make sure you thaw the turkey under refrigeration. Uh, you should allow yourself about three days for a turkey this size to thaw. Three uh, days in the refrigerator? In the refrigerator. Uh, a lot of people think that you can just kind of plop them in the kitchen sink and right. they'll thaw out and it becomes like a family pet for a few days. <laughs> uh, not something you want to do. Uh, it can cause foodborne illness. Okay, I didn't know that. So, well, you got to get this, start thawing like pretty much today. Yeah. Or tomorrow in about a week ahead get it out you know put it in the refrigerator and let it thaw out okay so all right our turkey is thawed obviously what are we okay. going to do here we're going to prepare it for the oven um, first thing you want to do is remove there are uh, a pack with giblets in um, and also the neck um, they're usually found in the body cavity, but also sometimes to um, some cooks' chagrin, um, there's a hidden little pouch at the end of the turkey here, and sometimes they put the giblets in there. Um, Why is that to the chagrin? Uh, well, because I've heard of a number of cases of cooks for the first time that cook their turkey, and they cook with the little pouch in there. Oopsie. Uh, and when they go to cut it uh, for the chicken dinner, uh, kind of paper and giblets roll out. Surprise, surprise like the Cracker surprise. Jack fries. All right, exactly. so let's get going here. Okay, um, first thing we you want to do is uh, prepare the inside of the turkey. Um, I have some poultry seasoning, some salt, some white pepper, um, and these would go and be rubbed in the inside of the bird, um, okay. right inside the, the body cavity. Um, you want to avoid putting your spices on the outside of the body cavity because it can impair some of the browning effect. Um, next thing you want to do is add some aromatics. We have a half of an onion here which will stick in there. Right, you just put that whole thing in there. Just All pop right. it right in here. You know. I have a bundle here. This is a, called a bouquet garni. It's a French bundle of herbs and aromatics. I have some leeks, some celery, some fresh thyme, um, and that will also go inside the turkey. And if it sticks out a little bit, that's okay. Okay, we got now, some butter on here. Uh, just a second. Um, the next thing you want to do is uh, decide, uh, most of the turkeys come with a little leg restraint thing that keeps the legs together and it promotes even roasting. Uh, you can leave that in there, that's perfectly acceptable. Or you can use the old fashioned butcher's twine and truss the turkey up. But basically what you want to do is have the limbs against the body um, because they're going to cook much faster than what the regular turkey is. Okay, so now we're ready for butter? Now we're ready for butter. <laughs> All right. That's my one big job. Okay, we're going to start buttering up our turkey so we can get a nice buttery turkey. And uh, we're going to keep cooking. We're going to move to some side dishes coming up in just a little while here on Fox 43 Morning News. All right, Melanie, uh, go to work with the buttering, and we will see you in a I'm little bit. I'm ready to butter. <laughs> we'll be right back.